What are the biggest mistakes I see people make immediately after an auto accident? Watch this video to find out. Hi, Barry here with The Lawful Channel. On this channel, you're gonna find short legal videos on the topics that affect your life. If you're new here, check out the notes and information in the description below and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, contact me. If I can't help you, I'll find someone who can. I get calls every day from people who were just in accidents and I see a repeating pattern of mistakes made over and over again. The first mistake people make is that they try to represent themselves without doing their research. I know what you're thinking. Typical attorney sales pitch. All I'm saying is it's important to at least talk to somebody who's been through this before so that you know what to look out for. I've seen it time and time again. People go it alone and then I get a call nine months later and people are always wondering why did they get lowballed. I'm not saying you always need an attorney. There are a lot of cases when an attorney is not necessary. For example, if you have a back sprain or a back strain or if you only have a couple thousand dollars in medical bills, if you didn't get a lot of treatment, you can probably go it alone. But if you have serious injuries and a lot of medical bills, it's pretty important to talk to an attorney. Why is that? Because the game is rigged worse than Las Vegas. The odds are not in your favor. Allstate or State Farm, they know what they're doing. Most of the time, the people filing claims against them do not. Allstate's total revenue in 2016 was $36.5 billion. That's more than the bottom 150 countries on this planet. They have the resources to delay, deny, and diminish your claim. Mistake number two, accident victims give the insurance company a recorded statement. Why is this a big issue? Because the insurance company is trying to get you on the record to tell them about the facts of the accident and the injuries that you suffered. Then later on down the line, they're gonna use that information to discredit you. For example, let's say you give a recorded statement to the insurance adjuster after the accident, but you forget to tell them about the pain in your shoulder. Six or nine months later, when you try to settle your case and you make a claim for the damage to your shoulder, the insurance company is going to point out that you didn't tell them about your shoulder after the accident happened, and they're going to use that to try and diminish your claim. Mistake number three. The accident victim thinks that the insurance adjuster is on your side. The insurance adjuster works for the insurance company. The insurance company's goal is to make as much money as possible and to do that they have to pay out as little as possible. I've seen it a hundred times. The same adjuster that was so nice at the beginning of your claim becomes very difficult when it's time to settle. Don't fall for it. From day one you are at odds with the insurance company. Be aware of what you say and keep in the back of your mind the insurance company's true intent. Okay, it's time for your take on the law. Have you dealt with an insurance company before? What has your experience been? How did they treat you? Tell us about it in the comments below. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, consider subscribing to our channel. And if you have any legal questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. If I can't help you, I'll find someone who can.